All right, welcome back to the old card shop, guys. My name is Josh, and thanks for stopping by. In this video, we'll be starting a whole new series that will be called the Pokemart Talks, where you guessed it, we talk about the Pokemon TCG market and all the surrounding noise. If you stick around at the end till the end of the video, I'll also be announcing the channel's first giveaway. So definitely stick around, or you know, skip to the bot uh, the uh, end and check that out. So. Um, mostly though, I do want to use this video as an opportunity to discuss a few predictions I have surrounding the market in uh, 2021. I just want to put a couple things out there publicly uh, in video before things happen, just to kind of have a, a personal uh, prediction template here so I can come back to it and see what I said. And, and I do want to hear what you guys say too. So if you have any thoughts about anything I say or any um, disagreements, uh, definitely comment down below and I want to hear it all because I'm here to have a great uh, relationship and conversation with you guys and uh, none of my opinions that I hold are set in stone. So this is all a, kind of a fun journey and I want to experience it with you guys. So firstly though, um, let's go ahead and just dive right into it. Um, my first prediction is going to be surrounding the graded card market here. And so um, let's just go right into it. I think that the PSA market is in for a correction in the next six months. Now, I know for a fact we will see thousands upon thousands of cards being returned from PSA over the next six months to a year. They've said it themselves, they're backed up, and that is because of the massive amount of cards they've been uh, submitted by everyone, You're, you, got, you guys, myself, um, Anyone else who submitted grades to PSA, you know, we're all to blame for this, but that's uh, just not a, that's not a bad thing, but it is a reality. And so, so that is um, something that we're going to see happen. And for a while, that really scared me. You know, um, I thought about just the sheer number of cards coming back and it, and it honestly kind of kept me up at night because um, most people sort of look at things based on populations with PSA and they're going all off of numbers that were before this big hype or craze sort of happened with Pokemon in the last year. And so none of the numbers are really truly correct or accurate. So, so I do think we're going to start seeing some of those numbers change and with that will come a market correction. Um, now that's normal. I don't think that's an unhealthy thing. And I, I at, for a while was really worried about this massive wave coming back and just crashing the market. But I think that's less likely the more I think about that. And here's why. I do think that the cards will come back in large numbers, but in a steady stream rather than a massive tidal wave. And so with that steady stream, there's also going to be the choice that these uh, collectors or flippers or whoever sent their cards to PSA, whatever their uh, intention was, investors, whatever their intention was, they're going to have the option to either hold or sell. And so um, I think that the market, as greedy and as, um, as I don't want to say, I should take that back, not greedy, as needy as the market is for Pokemon graded cards, I think it can absorb at least a healthy amount of those PSA cards coming back. And I actually don't think a lot of those cards are going to be sold or flipped immediately back onto the market. And so I don't think we're going to see a huge correction at first, but I do think a correction is coming and we'll see a slight correction as that sort of um, continues along. So that's my first prediction of 2021 is we will see a PSA market correction. Um, also on a little side note, I do think that the CGC and BGS turnaround times will also increase in 2021. Maybe not as high as PSA turnaround times, but as the prices of uh, slabs just sort of equalize and PSA is dethroned as the only and um, number one option in the, the game for grading, which it still is at this point. Um, but as it begins to see its throne a little bit uh, shaken up or its, uh, its placement shaken, we'll see CGC and BGS turnarounds start to increase as well. So that's just the nature of the beast. Um, also, I want to say I have a prediction about PSA with the new ownership. They're going to start implementing some new spicy um, new grading tactics and new offerings. And I do predict to stay relevant. We'll start seeing some PSA subgrades by the end of the year. But that's I've heard nothing in, in particular, no inside information. I'm just throwing out my own prediction with that one. So let's move on to my second prediction, which is about sealed product. Sealed product is always a good, um, well, it's, it's generally thought to be a uh, good buy, hold 
situation if you are buying for an investment we'll say uh, or even just a a short hold um, to gain in value um, sealed product has always been uh, premium but uh, of all the sealed product lately in the Pokemon uh, department or the Pokemon world you know there's um, there are different types of sealed and there are different levels and the best and the king of the sealed product at this point in time are those limited print run sealed product sets like uh, Hidden Fates, the new Shining Fates coming out, um, Shining Legends, Generations, Champion's Path. These are all what we consider limited print sets, and uh, they all have one, one thing in common, is they do not come in booster boxes. They also were uh, released uh, in between main, we'll call them main sets, that Pokemon makes, and it does not get printed um, it just does not get printed the same way. And so typically you have the, the main TCG sets that they release. Um, those come out in booster cases, booster boxes, blisters, collection boxes, uh, ETBs, you name it. And uh, they're everywhere. And they get printed for a couple years uh, to demand. These holiday sets or these limited print run sets, we'll call them, uh, that just simply doesn't happen. And so there are a few of them that you can still get out there that I do think are worth your time. And I want to make a couple of predictions about um, at least one of them, and that's Hidden Fates. Right now, Hidden Fates is available for about, um, we'll call it $120 to $150 on the open market for ETBs. Now, these things are uh, white hot. Uh, Hidden Fates is probably the most popular modern modern set of all time and it's uh has a good reputation among pokemon collectors here and um it just got a reprint and so right now etbs uh which were roughly 200 to 250 to 300 dollars are uh, about 100 to uh 150 120 to 150 dollars here somewhere anywhere in that range so um so yeah they they sort of wildly uh they can fluctuate because they, they are on the shelves. And so the best price is going to be probably you'll find it for about $50 on the shelves at big box retailers if you're lucky. Um, those things get scalped real quick though or they'll get taken by uh, retail arbitrage, we'll call it, and uh, and taken and put to the secondary market. So more realistically, you'll find them for about $120 to $150. Um, and, and I honestly, I think that they're worth it. Um, I've got about five in my collection that I purchased at above retail value just because they're just unavailable retail. And I do think they're a good, uh, nice display piece. And uh, I do think that the $120 to $150 range is still a pretty good price for those. So, so just keep your eyes out for those. I think that by the end of the year, though, we'll see those back at $250, almost $300, especially after all the 25th anniversary hype. People look back at um, you know 20, 2019 when uh, Hidden Fates came out, and they look back at that set, and it's going to have fond memories for Pokemon collectors. On a side note, Champion's Path, another one of those holiday sets, um, sort of underappreciated or undervalued at this point. A lot of people are feeling really, I, I want to say, really bearish on this product. It was touted by some YouTubers as being the worst Pokemon product of the year, and I, yeah... I just don't agree with that. Um, right now, I think you can find ETBs uh, around somewhere around $70, $75, which is actually a lot higher than they were just recently, sitting around $60, $65 on the secondary market. Now, of course, you can get this for $50 at Target and at Walmart um, if you're lucky enough to find them, which I highly recommend picking up if you find um, any of them. Um, but, but yeah, the secondary market, more realistically, you're going to pay around uh, 65, 70 bucks for these things. Um, I do think that long term, it's a beautiful ETB. You know, I think it's, it's one of my favorite uh, designs of ETBs that they've made in a long term, in a long time. And the promo card that's inside of it is just gorgeous. Uh, Charizard is one of the most popular Pokemon characters as you, if you made it this long into the video, you, you are well aware of that. And uh, Charizard, the promo that comes in that ETB is just solid. I do think it's one of the best arts they've put out for Charizard in a long time. And also the Chase Charizard in there, the shiny version of that card is just gorgeous. So um, yeah, Champion's Path, goodbye. I really appreciate it. And I think it is uh, something we're going to see a lot of upward momentum for in the uh, future here. 
So, I do have another prediction to make. Um, my third prediction is not going to be a surprise to anyone, but here uh, as we get our stimulus package coming through uh, in February or March, I don't know when it's going to happen or if it's going to happen, but at this point it really looks like it is. And so with the, the stimulus package coming through, most of the folks who are going to be benefiting or getting that stimulus package are going to be, um, I believe, potentially putting some of that money into some things that they love. And some of those things I know that my friends love are Pokemon, uh, cryptocurrency. A lot of my friends have gotten into, oh, well, we won't get into other things, but you know, other collectibles. And so I do expect card prices, just like with the last stimulus bill, to to rise just a little bit here. Um, well, I, I, no, I take that back. The, they will rise a, more than a little bit. And so I just wanna say if you plan or need anything in your collection, um, right now, even though prices are a little bit high as is, might not be a bad buy to start picking some things up before we get into those, um, those higher prices we're going to see here in March. So, um, I do want to shift gears a little bit though. That's going to, my, my third and final prediction is that we're going to see prices go up. That's not really much of a prediction I know. So, um, sort of cheating on that one, but it's directly tied to this stimulus package that's happening here. Um, so that's my prediction is prices will go up tied to that so if you want to buy any cards before then i recommend that so shifting gears though um let's talk about something really exciting here uh the channel's first giveaway so with this giveaway i want i'll finally talk about these uh cards that are in front of you here um i'm going to be giving uh it's, it's sort of an interesting giveaway uh i want to use it as an opportunity to sort of help grow the channel and also interact with you guys and so um uh, please like and subscribe definitely uh, in order to be a part of this giveaway you definitely have to be subscribed and if you can um, down below in the comments comment um, just comment something and then um, you know uh, once I get to about 75 followers um, I'm going to uh, look down in those comments and I'm going to randomize um, Anyone who commented, you get one entry per comment, so you can't comment a bunch of times and get multiple entries, um, but I'll put your name in a randomizer here. Uh, I'll probably make a video or go live on Instagram or do something to uh, randomize those people who commented and help me get to that 75 mark. And um, if we can get to that 75 subscriber mark here um, by, let's say, uh, my birthday, January 29th, you will, as a subscriber and uh, someone who comments in this video, if you are chosen, get to choose any one of these products to get mailed to you free of charge from me. So let's see what we got here. Um, I've got four products to choose from. They're kind of fun for uh, a little bit for everyone. So this is a Pokemon pro uh, video. So let's talk about the Pokemon product first. Now, if you win this giveaway, I have two options. I have two Evolutions theme decks. You get to choose between the Mewtwo or the Pikachu uh, theme deck from Evolutions here, and I'll uh, ship it to you. So you'll just uh, private message me your information. Um, we'll, we'll touch base on that, and I'll ship it to you, no charge, just for liking and subscribing and helping me get to 75 uh, subscribers and supporting me on this journey. Now, if you're a Magic player and you like Magic cards, and if you stayed through this whole video, Thank you so much. You you are the real MVP. Uh, I appreciate that. This is going to be for you. This is the uh, Modern Horizons 3-pack that was released in stores, a little draft pack of the Modern Horizons set. Uh, I think this thing retailed for like 20 bucks when it was out, but it's probably on the secondary market closer to 30 35 at this point. Um, a little beat up, so I, I don't want to sell it in the shop or anything like that. But I want to give it away. So if you like this, you prefer this to a pokemon product you're welcome to choose this little um this modern horizons three pack now if you're a gambler if you don't you don't care what you get and you want something kind of interesting a little mystery box here this is a mystery box i'm not going to say what's in it um, but it's a trading card game mystery box that I've got. And uh, if you would like that, then that's an option as well. I'd say these are all about rough, uh, roughly equal in value, about 20 bucks or so. And so, uh, yeah, just please like and subscribe. And if you can, share uh, my channel and share this video and help me get to that 75 subscriber mark. And once we get there, I'm going to do that little giveaway. So um, 
thanks again, guys. I think I'm going to end the video there. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming by and watching. And if you can, um, drop a like and share the video. And let's get this giveaway going. All right. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe. Bye.